Good day, and thank you for tuning in to this presentation, which is all about the journey that many organizations are taking to transform their IT function, to become agile, transparent, and automate everything, introducing new ways of working, such as agile development, continuous delivery, and DevOps. But let me start with a warning. Managing this new digital ecosystem is challenging and should not be underestimated. The IT ecosystem has changed with an increasing number of cloud services and fast-moving technology opportunities. Now it is time to rethink how the digital services need to be developed, tested, deployed and operated to maximize the value of the business and your customers. So many organizations are transforming their IT operating model today. Probably your organization as well. However, there's typically one essential ingredient that is missing, which causes many of these transformations to fail. And I will reveal this ingredient in this presentation. My name is Rob Akershoek, working at DXC Fruition Partners and chair of the IT4IT forum within the Open Group. Now let's have a look at the storyboard of this presentation. First, I will introduce the key challenges, followed by an analysis of how we manage IT today. Then, we will have a look at what are the capabilities that you need to manage this new digital ecosystem. What are the key building blocks of a modern IT operating model? Next, we'll look at how different practices, such as DevOps and ITIL, can be combined using the it for it standard from the Open Group to build this new digital delivery platform, followed by some advice on how and where to start your own digital journey. But let us first look at the challenges the IT organization is facing managing this new digital reality, providing the context of your transformation journey and what is happening in the IT management domain. In this digital journey, the complexity is increasing. We got more components to manage. Think about Internet of Things and cloud services and APIs. We got more vendors in your ecosystem that we need to integrate with. We got more changes to manage due to continuous delivery and agile way of working. We got more security events and threats to respond to, more compliance rules and controls such as GDPR. We got more IT data that we need to handle such as monitoring data, logs, CMDB data, changes, test data, which we're not able, able to manage today. And we need to handle more service requests. Think about join and move levers, people needing access requests and so on and so on. And we need to adapt continuously to fluctuations in demands. And of course, at the same time, we need to be faster, better, cheaper, safer, and making it easier for the DevOps teams to generate value to our customers. So to cope with all of this, we need to fundamentally change our IT operating model by creating a more intelligent and automated digital management capability. The cruel reality, however, is that our current IT management environment is pretty complex, with many fragmented and isolated tools, data repositories, processes and practices. A typical organization has over 100 different IT management tools to manage the IT delivery. And IT management is not about the IT service management system or CMDB anymore. It's about this whole chain of tools that need to be well connected to be successful, and then implemented with the right set of practices. And it is, this situation is probably not different than in your organization, where you have also the same complexity out there. But you probably would say, but I'm working on it. And yes, you probably got a lot of initiatives to improve the IT function. Think about agile development. You're implementing a CICD pipeline and automated delivery. You're implementing a new security monitoring event management system. And of course, improving self-service by implementing a good portal, imp improving service monitoring, or improving the CMDB, which has never seemed to be up to date, event management, test automation, cloud management, think about Azure and Amazon, or data center automation to automatically provision servers, databases, and so on. And yes, you probably got all these initiatives, but the challenge is that they're not very well connected. And to be successful, you need to change the way you implement all these improvement initiatives. So what we really need to do is tidying up our IT organization. Maybe you have heard about this program, Tidying Up, by Marie Kondo. And that's what we need also in IT organizations. Eliminate the mess, create structure and transparency so that people can work better, faster and be more efficient to generating value. Now, the IT management ecosystem is pretty complex. As you can see here, this is just a simplification of the capabilities you need, the tools and practices to deliver faster, better and cheaper. 
Here you see the simplified model of the capabilities you need to get from an idea or demand into something that is manageable, operatable in production that generates value. You need to manage your portfolio backlog with all the initiatives, the enterprise architecture, the product team backlog in Azure and Jira. You have your design documents in a content management system. You have your source code repositories. Of course, your CICD pipeline to automate the build, test and deploy, code review, your build repositories, your artifact repositories where the builds are stored, test management, performance and security testing, code quality testing, numerous deployment tools to deploy the, uh, the application and infrastructure across the different environments. And of course, monitoring, different levels of monitoring, infrastructure monitoring, application, performance monitoring and so on. Understand the security, monitoring security logs, monitoring vulnerabilities in your technical state, log analytics, AI ops, collecting events together and determine the impact. And of course, your IT service management system with the instant problem and change management and your seem to be where you look at all the data coming together and using discovery, but also in link with deployment tools, your self-service portal, collaboration tools where the different teams and vendors can work together, like in Teams or Slack, and your dashboarding and reporting. And you can see that this is complex and you have to select the right set of practices, tools and data. And it's not about individual practice anymore. It's about how you connect this all together to create a seamless, end-to-end, -end, transparent and traceable flow from demand to production. So this picture illustrates the transition we need to go through. From a chaotic and fragmented, complex environment consisting of many tools, processes and data. We need to move to more streamlined, simplified and integrated delivery model, organized around value streams from idea to production, automate IT activities, become data driven, provide true transparency and traceability and focus on the data to get insight and continuously improve. However, most organizations are working on it, but the way they lack is an IT management architecture and blueprint, a vision where they need to move into, a good understanding of the current and target landscape. And because many organizations have not this architecture in place, what will happen is it will break down or cannot be well connected, resulting in lacking transparency and traceability and lacking the result that the DevOps journey should get. So what we need to do is create a good design of our digital delivery model. So what we need to do is create a design for the operating model by reinventing the way we work, looking at new practices such as organized around value streams, organized around products, agile, DevOps, but at the same time modernizing our IT management tools, automate end-to-end -to -end workflows, and reorganize our people and team structure with the right set of skills and competences. So what we need to do is combine practices such as DevOps, IT4 and IT4IT. And IT4IT is the umbrella framework that can help you combining traditional service management practices with the new DevOps and Agile way of working. And this illustrates that, that IT4IT is encapsulating Agile and DevOps practices, but also TOGO for architecture, Scrum, and maybe still traditional project management methodologies, just Sprints 2 and PMBOK, combined with ISO 27000 and NIST for security and compliance. But what is important is you have to blend these practices together in a simplified model so that you know where to invest in. And we can use it it as the blueprint for this new digital operating model. And here you see a simplified view of the it it reference architecture. it it reference architecture defines the building blocks you need, the data you need and the data flows. And that you can use to identify how well you're organized today and where to invest in and what to do next. The it for it standard is a product from the Open Group, in which over 600 member organizations participate to produce standards such as TOGAF, UNIX and also it for it now let's have a look at what IT4IT standard is about. It's first is organized around value streams. What are the activities you need to do and the capabilities to generate value to your customers? Looking at the different tools you need to support these capabilities, looking at the data flows, as well as understand how you need to integrate with your vendors and providers. Understand the collaboration with the business and customers, as well as the key roles and responsibilities you need across these IT value streams. The it for it value chain consists of four value streams. Let me briefly introduce them. Strategy to portfolio is all about managing your portfolio of services and ensure they generate the right business value and outcome. Here you talk about innovation, improving the portfolio, as well as understanding the key initiatives you need to take to improve the portfolio. 
requirement to deploy. It's all about developing a product, testing, make sure that it fulfills the requirement and make them available in a continuous way. Talk about agile development and continuous delivery here. Or request to fulfill, having a catalog where people can request services from, it's automatically provisioned and monitored and turned off when they're not needed anymore. And detect to correct is all about continuous operations, monitor services proactively, detect issues before the customer is affected. Let me zoom into the IT value chain in a little bit more detail. In strategy to portfolio, you manage your portfolio backlog and your portfolio of products and services, understanding the value, the risk and compliance, but also identify new opportunities and improvement alternatives. Here you manage the architecture and demand and your portfolio as a whole. The requirement to deploy is organized around the products and the teams, generating the value, developing, testing and deploying new versions releases on a continuous basis, using CI/CD pi pipeline, for example. Then deploying them and make them available for monitoring, detect to correct, where we monitor the services, detect events and act upon incidents. Any request to fulfill is managing the service catalog, making sure that end users and customers can request services through a portal, automatically provisioned, we update the scene to be, we monitor usage and showback. And as well a number of supporting activities such as financial management, risk, HR and contract management. And a key aspect of IT for IT is the service and product backbone, which talks about all the service lifecycle information you need to manage and to end the service from a value and business perspective. Understanding the cost, the risk, compliance and the value. The service backbone is the foundation to be successful in the IT organization to enable transparency and traceability. So how does DevOps fit into this picture? IT for IT and DevOps works very well together. But DevOps only looks at a subset of what IT for IT defines. So DevOps is organized, as you can see here, in highlighted in blue, around developing the products, testing, make them available, do monitoring, do security operations. But it lacks other capabilities you need, such as financial management, managing your portfolio of services, how to interact with the business, how to interact with the vendors, and having a catalog and request management and security around that as well. So we talk about continuous exploration, strategy portfolio to continuous integration and delivery and requirement to deploy and continuous operations to monitor service and ensure we run as expected. We have feedback loops from production back to the strategy and also the idea is to enable flow from demand to production. So let's start looking at the product backbone because this is the foundation to be successful in your IT organization. Transparency and success starts with a good understanding of the application and service you deliver. So I changed this Dilbert picture and talk about this specific problem. Imagine you would like to have a list of all your applications because you want to do a cloud migration. And your boss asks you, what are all the applications? And so I don't have that. Used to seem to be, well, that data is wrong. Surely we have an application portfolio management system. Nope, we don't have that. Or the enterprise architecture tool, they should have an overview of all the applications. No, that system cannot be more wrong maybe SharePoint, and eventually you end up creating an Excel with all the application that we have that could be ready for cloud migration. This is how we run IT today. We don't have a good understanding of all the products and services we deliver to our customers. So what we should be creating is this service and product backbone. This is our system of record, understanding the services, who owns them, how it generates value, what are the costs and what are the risks. If you don't have this foundation in place, your digital transformation will fail. Is it an application? Is it a product or is it a service or just a digital product? Whatever you call it, we need to agree on a common set of data entities. And it's probably organized around the products with a product owner and a value statement. And once a product is operational, it is provided as a service. To create this common data model is the foundation for a successful implementation. And you see now also ServiceNow is adopting a common service data model to align the different data entities across the different applications and modules on the platform. What is needed to build the next generation digital management platform? And to be honest, it's a real jungle out of there. We got so many different tools, practices in the market, and this landscape is continuously evolving and changing. So what do you need to do? First of all, we need to start with identifying the capabilities you need to run a modern IT organization using IT for IT. And this illustrates different building blocks, or puzzle component that you need, the different capabilities, the process, the tools and the data. 
By understanding how the different pieces fit together, you can design your target operating model. So let's have a look at an example of how this can be approached. This is an example of an IT for IT workbench that you can use to implement and improve your IT function. Here you see the current landscape and complexity of the tools and process where we make an inventory of what's out there today with the stakeholders and capabilities. We look at the key objectives and strategies. So based on the IT for IT capability model, we know exactly what are the building blocks to become successful. The next thing is we do a good inventory of the current tools out there that support these capabilities. Look at the current state, the quality of the tools and in-flight initiatives to improve this tooling landscape. We also look then how these different tools support these different capabilities. So we have a good understanding of how the tools are used in your organization to generate value. Identify, for example, the different monitoring tools out there, deployment tools and so on but also look at how the different tools are integrated because a value of integration is very essential to getting traceability and automation. Here you can see how ServiceNow is integrated with the different other solutions out there such as CICD pipeline and deployment. And then we have a good map of all the capabilities and plotted the solutions to it that we have out there. And you can analyze how well is your current landscape supported by the different tools. But we also look at the different controls, the data quality, the people, the process side as well. It's not only about the tools. Once we have this identified, we can start using it for it to do a heat map and maturity and model. So we understand the maturity of the different capabilities out there in your IT organization, such as financial management. We look at the tools, the process, the data, the controls and the skills and competences. Identify areas for improvement, such as uses and showback, to understand how well resources are used. Or integrate release and deployment management into ServiceNow. Or understand the quality of your application and service portfolio that requires improvement. So based upon this analysis, we identify a number of improvement initiatives, such as highlighted here. Implementing a CICD pipeline, introducing chatbots, application performance monitoring, test automation, improving SLA reporting data center automation, setting up a new security event management system, and so on. And based upon these initiatives, we can build the right roadmap because it's about defining the right order and sequence to generate value. And it's not about individual capabilities and initiatives anymore. It's about creating an integrated end-to-end -end digital delivery pipeline. So we use it for it to build this understanding of where we are today, create a solid plan for the future and identify the key initiatives we need to take to move to this target state in the right order. Now here you see an example of a high-level digital delivery blueprint. Because what is essential is that we create a blueprint of our target state, understanding the components, the tools and integrations. Here you see that ServiceNow is positioned as the integrated backbone from idea to production where we manage the service backbone of our services and product and teams, we manage demands from the business, we manage the requests, we manage the incidents, but also have key integrations with other solutions out there to generate value. For example, integrate with the Agile Backlog to exchange ticket data and, and backlog items, integrate with the CICD pipeline to automatically update the chains, update the CMDB and understand what's going on, but also integrate with the cloud technology platforms such as Azure and Amazon or VMware to automatically provision services and get updates to the CMDB. But also integrate with monitoring tools to automatically create an incident and act upon issues. Or integrate with security monitoring and vulnerability tools to automatically create a security incident or a vulnerability response in ServiceNow. So it's very important that everyone is working on this integrated picture and all the initiatives are aligned to move to this target state. To summarize this presentation, we know the IT ecosystem is changing and we need to develop an integrated digital management capability. Therefore, we need to create a blueprint and vision of this target delivery model. And we can use IT for IT as the umbrella to show how everything needs to be connected from the tools, the processes, the practices such as Agile, DevOps and ITIL. It can be used to assess your current state identify where you are, what needs to improve, and create a roadmap to iterate to your defined target state. Ensuring that you have a solid backbone of all the products and services you provide to your business. Make results visible and adjust the blueprint with the gained new insights over time. This is how we play the IT transformation game today.
we don't take the time to create a solid vision, nor creating a blueprint of our target operating model. We have many fragmented initiatives to pimp our IT function, but we miss the overall plan how everything fits together, of how all things need to be connected to create value. So it's not that we're not doing our best. We often even have the right ingredients, but we miss the recipe. The recipe how to combine DevOps, ITIL and IT for IT. And this requires a solid vision of setting up an organization, the teams, the automation platforms and change the way of working. What we need is a plan or blueprint of how everything should be connected and integrated. You cannot just throw changes and tools and processes and practices to an IT organization. So if we want to move faster, we need to be on the same page all work towards a common goal. If you want, we can help you in co-creating this common vision and target blueprint, understanding where you're now and where you need to go to, but more importantly, understand what you need to do to get there. Thank you very much for listening and I wish you a good digital journey. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact me. Thanks.